80% of our kids come on a school bus. Average, I guess, travel time one way is 40 minutes. So they have to have that commitment to say, yeah, I'm going to be at the bus stop at 6 o'clock in the morning. Students are drawn from all over Los Angeles to Bravo Medical Magnet High School. Okay. Named all after an East Los Angeles, Angeles physician, Bravo is a medicine and health career themed school. So that will help to protect your ears. The curriculum exposes no. every so student to aspects of the medical field and offers more focused studies in small academies within the school. Bravo also offers outstanding dance and music programs, clubs and athletics, parental support groups, and partnerships with local institutions like the USC Medical Center. So when do the nerves stimulate? Do they stimulate at the same time that the hormone does uh, or not? We are probably about 85% free and reduced lunch. So our kids are not middle class kids. But I believe that when you have high expectations and you have that support system that will help students that are having difficulty when you believe in them and they feel that you believe in them, they will do anything you ask of them. So this electro is going to be measuring your brain waves. So I'm going to put one electro on your forehead and one electro on your ear. A major focus of the class sure. is to have the students become curious, that they raise their own questions that are focused around physiology. I came up with the hypothesis that people who play video games more might actually have a lower stress, for people, stress level than people who didn't. So I started asking people, do you consider yourself a gamer or not? And I would test them. And then also having the technology to be able to measure biopotentials or blood pressure or vital signs. Exercise can actually reduce stress. Right. How could that work? That's something I still want to test because I still think that athletes will have a lower stress level just because they have an output for that stress. Some Bravo students continue their education in the afternoon by walking three blocks from the high school to one of the most prestigious medical centers in the country. We have a terrific partnership with the uh, University of Southern California. With the uh, ROP program, the students work at the hospitals that are uh, owned by USC in a variety of different areas. And where is she going today? We know that not every student that comes here is going to be a doctor going to go to medical school. But it helps them see that it's not just the doctors that make that whole health medical world happen. A select group of students in Bravo's Science, Technology, and Research Program and the Engineering for Health Academy work in research labs on the USC medical campus. These experiments are really very high-level, sophisticated experiments, just same experiments that the postdocs and graduate students are doing. So the high school students are really, this is fantastic for them. They can do very cool stuff. Hey, Hardy. Hey. What are you working on? Um, right now, I'm just trying to smooth out the output of this circuit. We actually have curricula that we've instituted uh, towards biomedical engineering and engineering in life sciences which goes hand in glove with the experimental experience in the lab. Education has to be much more hands-on. We can't continue to just educate students in silos and not integrate technologies, in this case, uh, into medical applications. The way that the course is designed, it's a two-period, right? Mm -hmm. And the first semester, you learn medical terminology. Uh, Many students semester. entering Bravo are classified as at-risk academically, so the school offers a range of support services for students and their parents. Twice a month, the parents meet with the counselors. The counselors provide workshops for them, and then they sit with their child, and um, you know they teach them how to read the report card, how to call the teacher, how to have a parent-teacher conference. So really helping parents and, and kids better communicate and helping the parents to know which questions they should be asking. There are also homework help programs monitored by some of the many Bravo alumni who return to the school to help the next wave of students. I do want to see a lot of these kids succeed and I can see you know, why some of the teachers try so hard with many of the students. You know, the, the more you know them, the more you really want them to grow for themselves. And this one, what do you think we're looking for? And, and, all right.
definitely Bravo gave me so much. Um, it got me really prepared for college. And, you know, I didn't think that back when I was here. I was like, oh my God, I have to read how much? I have to do this? I have to write this essay? Then when I got to college, I'm like, the first couple of classes, like, oh, this is a breeze. You know, I, I read, you know, like, yeah, I read this in high school. And I really wanted to come back and give some of that to the kids. Don't let anyone, especially yourself, say this is something I can't do. I'm not a person that supports the status quo because usually status quo means it's about the adults and not about the kids. And when it's about kids, you see the results. It's not easy sometimes, but it's the work that we have to do. All right, you guys have a great day. For more information about what works in education, go to edutopia.org.